Hey everybody, this is the unboxing of the new Orbi RBK12 dual band mesh Wi-Fi system just recently released. I noticed there's no videos on YouTube yet, so I just wanted to do an unboxing to show you what's all included. Uh, gives you some quick um, getting started directions. Say this will cover up to 3,000 square feet. It's uh, two 1.2 gigabyte per second routers. Uh, so this necessarily wouldn't be something for those who are running a gigabit uh, connection in their home um, or home office. More for just the average home internet user. So you get two Wi-Fi routers. or I should say one Wi-Fi router and one satellite router. This is the Wi-Fi router. You'll see it's got an ethernet jack, an internet jack, a DC power a reset and a sync button. And the satellite just has the DC power input, reset and sync button. Overall though, they are uh, aiming for something a little more, uh, less conspicuous uh, to be laying around in your home. Uh, maybe going along more of the lines of the Google Wi-Fi routers uh, as far as how they look. On the bottom of the box, you've got power supplies as well as a Ethernet cord. There's really no instructions with the with the system other than the getting started directions. Uh, there is in, information here as far as um, support and an online community, uh, but it really just says to download to your mobile phone the Orbi app. Uh, you tap the security icon, so all the setup looks like it's done through the actual Orbi app. I'll take you through that setup as I get into it. Hey everybody, now we're going to open the Orbi app and uh, see what the setup is all about. All the terms and conditions allow to access your location. I'll go ahead and set this up. Uh, I'm just going to pause this to hide my information. After putting in the information and opting out of the Orbi emails, I am going to enable the Touch ID. Also enable two-step verification. Set push notifications. That would be my phone device. I'll approve that. Sorry for the background noise. Uh, the room I'm in has two large aquariums. I can show you those too here eventually. But uh, once you get done setting up the uh, Netgear account, uh, next thing it's going to do is ask you to log in. Uh, you will need to verify the email, uh, verify the account in your email. Next thing you'll need to do is log in. Uh, 
I do want to install a new Netgear product. I'll need to scan the QR code on the Orbi device. Once you scan the device, the next thing it will do is open up the screen, which asks you to reboot your modem. Once it has powered back on, hit the next button and use the provided ethernet cable to connect the modem to the Orbi's router internet port. Then connect your router to a power source. Use the provided ethernet cable to connect to the modem to the Orbi's internet port. Next thing is to place the satellite in the location that is within my router's Wi-Fi range. Now that the satellite's plugged in, just waiting for the satellite to fully power on. Should just take a moment. During this time, it looks like the Orbi satellite's got a flashing blink blinking light on the front. Once that was set up, it looks like I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, so I'm going to go to Wi-Fi settings. Turn Wi-Fi on. And I'll select Orbi Setup. Connected to Orbi Setup. Try again. and continue setup. I'm now going to reboot the modem. Now that the modem has been rebooted, hit next. Go through this process once again, it looks like. And it's almost there. Now connecting to Orbi network. Orbi network is detected. Cables are connected. Internet's connected. Looks like it found the satellite. Hit continue. Next thing to do is to personalize network settings. Here's where you set the Wi-Fi network's name. After you've set your wireless name, then also set the wireless password. Next thing is to set up your admin login. After you set up your admin login, you turn on your Touch ID, which I will enable. And then set up your security questions. Now waiting for the mobile device to connect to the Orbi wireless network. This is taking a little time, just be patient. After a couple of tries of resetting the modem, and going back through the setup options, I am now, looks like I'm up and running. Hit the next button. Now it's giving you some options for pro support. If you want uh, any type of support, I suppose, that's beyond the standard support. I will select maybe later. Now it's installing some sort of armor security. 
and it appears that it's set up. So from here, it's just going through, navigating through, uh, viewing all the different types of settings. Testing some speeds just to see what our actual speeds are. I just had some issues uh, relating to our previous router, so I have an idea of where our speeds were. Uh, it was an older router, so that's why we replaced it with the Orbi router. Again, we're paying for a 25 megabyte connection, which has been plenty for the streaming and, and use that we have here in our ho household. Uh, looks like that's about where we're at again. I figured we'd be anywhere from 20 to 25. 23.89, not bad. So also some parental controls within the app. I'll do that uh, after this video is done. Uh, but just uh, looks like everything's fairly simple to set up. Um, it's got some Wi-Fi analytics and a bunch of other things. Um, let's do a scan to um, and I guess I'm not sure what that is just to check your signal strength but looks like it's good. Um, as I move closer to the router I'm sure that will go up. Now I'm right next to it now and got about uh, 27 dBMs. It looks like those are some settings I'll go through here after this. But anyways, that's it for now. That's the setup of the new Orbi. And um, yeah, if there's any questions, shoot them down below. Hopefully I can answer those for you. Take care. Hey, just wanted to give a quick update. We're up and running on the new Orbi system now for about five hours. Uh, the internet speed seems to be right where it should be between 20 to 25 megabytes per second based on what we're paying from our provider. Um, all the Roku boxes, uh, the Ring doorbell, the, the um, Green Mountain wireless grill, all that seems to be working just fine. Um, everything's reconnected and uh, speeds are great. Connection is great. Um, no complaints. Uh, everybody's phone's connected. Everybody's uh, uh, speeds are great. Um, so just be sure to uh, comment if you have any questions. And also... Uh, click the subscribe button. More content coming in the future. Thanks. Take care.